Yo, what's up, bros and broettes? So today, we are actually going to be taking out the rack and pinion and the um, steering column whatever the heck that thing's called, the one with the bushing in it, the arm that goes down to the rack and pinion. There's a rubber bushing in there that we're replacing with this, actually. I ordered this off eBay. It's from a company called Street Rays. They make their stuff in Texas. I actually haven't opened it yet, but that's the bushing I was talking about. That's what we'll be putting in. We'll be taking out the old rubber one. And uh, and then over here, we actually have a box from Rock Auto. Let's see what we got. Christmas time. All right. Fuel filter from the looks of it. Yep, our Z32 fuel filter. Awesome. Hastings brand. Then we got um, Exidy uh, clutch uh, slave cylinder. So that's awesome. Brand new. Sweet. So we got that. We got a new clutch master cylinder because mine was leaking. Awesome. 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 So we got that. What else did we get today? And we got some new. Yes. Because I'm going to be rebuilding the rack and pinion, I got new uh, bellows, so that's awesome. I got two of them, and a new magnet. Awesome. So with those parts in. Now that those parts have come in, um, I'm going to go ahead and get the front of the car jacked up. I might do that today. I might do it tomorrow, but I'm pretty sure in this, well, whether it happens tonight or tomorrow, I'm taking out the rack and pinion in this video. So, um, but with that said, I was doing some tidying up of the garage, uh, you know, just sweeping up crap and clearing some trash out and whatnot. Uh, what else? But yeah, with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and get the front of the car jacked up and then we'll start working on taking out that uh, rack and pinion. So, the, the rebuild seal kit comes in tomorrow, or at least should be coming in tomorrow. I ordered it through my job, so it should be showing up while I'm there. And then I'll come home and uh, start taking the rack and pinion apart and uh, We'll go from there. So with that said, let's get the car jacked up. All right guys, so as you can see, I got the, uh, the car jacked up, the front uh, wheels off, the wheels off on this side, wheel is off on this side. Um, <clears throat> next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take off the outer tie rods from the knuckle. Uh, from the looks of it, it is a 17. And there should be a carter pin holding it in there. It's a castle nut, so you gotta take out the carter pin, and then you can take off the uh, 17 millimeter. Uh, but before I get too far ahead of myself, I'm gonna soak those down with um, some PV blaster. 
and uh, so I can penetrate and uh, that way I don't have to work really hard at it. So that said, I'm going to go ahead and get some PB Blaster sprayed on that and then I'll uh, come right back. So yeah. Alright, as you can see, I got the outer tie rods off both sides. It's actually a 19 millimeter, not a 17 on the castle nut for the outer tie rod. As you can see, I got it off on both sides. Next will be to um, undo, I don't even know what the heck the thing's called, but the, the pinion arm thing. Uh, I mean, you can't really see anything in there. Let me see. I really need like a badass or portable light. There we go. That right there. I gotta undo that. And then, uh, once I got that off, that's gonna be a really tight fit. I wonder if I'll even be able to get it past the, uh, we'll see how this goes. Anyways, um, then I'll also have to take off these two lines. These two lines right there. You gotta take those off and then unbolt the, uh, unbolt it from the bottom of the, let's call it, as you can see, there's like a screw going right through there. And same for like right over there. There's four bolts. Got to take them out from the bottom. Once I got those out, then I can I hopefully can pull the rack this way towards the driver's side and get it out. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, but with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get that rack out. Alright guys, so I wanted to go ahead and show you what I've got done so far. I actually got down, the, uh, got this piece out. It is the control arm piece. I mean not the control arm, the uh, whatever the hell that thing's called. Goes from the firewall. That's the rubber bushing in there. And goes down to the rack and pinion. Uh, got that out. Got the uh, brackets out that hold the rack and pinion in. But what I have to do now is actually drop the cross member a little bit and uh, actually the cross member is fine. I'm going to have to uh, lift the engine a little bit. Uh, so I'll have to undo the motor mounts a little bit and then uh, lift it up so that I can, because uh, there's barely any clearance between the rack and the, uh, and the oil pan. So. I'm going to do that tomorrow because it is getting really late and I want to make myself some dinner. So with that said, uh, until tomorrow night. All right, guys, I'm back. It is a new day. Uh, today is Friday. I got my, um, let's see, I got my seal kit. And so that came in. I actually got finished getting the rack and pinion out. I'm definitely going to need some new bushings. I want to buy the, the urethane kit uh, for the complete suspension so probably next Friday I'm going to go ahead and get that ordered as well as the tie rod ends and this tie rod this is actually bent you see has that bend in it I'm pretty sure it's from when it got in that accident you know in the front where it pushed the uh, core support on the bottom end and then it also ripped that piece where it bolts in and ripped the nut out of it and it looks like someone just you know drilled it out a little bit and put a big ass bolt in there so I actually have a new one over there well used one over there from the pull apart and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a basically basically do it the same way that the uh, cross members attached I bought some really long bolts with some big washers and, and a, a nut to go on the bottom of it and that's how I'm going to reattach that. I'm going to drill through the top. And so it'll kind of be like how that is with the cross member. You have the plate and then the, the screw that's attached to it on each side of it. But I won't have the plate. I'll just have the screws with the washers on top. Big, big washers. I actually have them around here somewhere. 
I think they're together right here. There we go. That's what I was gonna use. So with that said, uh, I'm going to end this video here because that is where I wanted this video was me taking out the rack and pinion. So with that said, this video is over. The next video will be of me uh, attempting to be rebuilding this thing or resealing it. Got a reseal kit. So um, with that said, uh, yeah, I'm going to end this video here. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, guys, because, man, does it go a long ways. Uh, I thank you guys for the support that who those of you who have been supporting the channel by you know just watching and subscribing and whatnot. It it really it helps out a lot. Uh, I know that my subscriber base is growing uh, slow, but you know it's still growing. Um, I am grateful for those of you who are subscribing to the channel and those of you who have stayed subscribed to the channel. But with that said, I'm not going to ramble anymore. I'm just going to end this video here because that all I, that's all I have for this video. Uh, so until next time. Uh, peace out and never look back.